Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Till now, we have the player and a couple of grounds. But the problem is, let me put this ground a little bit down like this and run the game. So the first problem is our player is getting rotated and we need to fix it and to fix this thing just select your player and go to rigid body 2d and click on constraints and here you need to freeze the rotation z now it will not rotate so run the game again and it is fine but the another problem is you can see the player cross the screen now you need to understand this thing all this area all this thing everything is our scene and our scene is usually huge and player our player can move in any direction infinitely and everything is our scene and it is not possible for our device to display all the scene at once and that is why we have another object and that is called camera and this object is responsible for displaying the part of the scene that the user should see and you can see in our scene hierarchy we have main camera and you can see this rectangle it is our main camera and everything that is inside this area you can see so when the player is crossing this area we are not able to see the player so what we need to do is we need to move the camera along with the player and that is what we will do in this video and to do this we will create one more c sharp script inside our scripts folder so right click create new c sharp script and we will create a script named camera controller and you can name your script anything open the script inside the script first we need to get our player because we need to identify the player location first if we want to move the camera along with the player so we will write private player because the type of our player is player and then player now we also need a vector 3 to get the position of the player and this player position is of type vector 3 and vector 3 is a class that stores x y and z axis so we will create private vector 3 and we will name it last position and you can name it anything then we also need a float that will define the distance that the camera needs to move now we will initialize our player inside start function so we will find the player using the function find object of type and we need to find of type player so this function will find our player and from this player we will get the last position so here we will write last position equals to player dot transform dot position as you can see our player has a transform component and this transform component has position that contains x y and c so we have the last position or the first position of the player when the game is started now inside the update function we will calculate the distance that the camera needs to move so we will calculate the distance as distance equals to we will get the current x of the player because our camera only needs to move in x axis on the right direction because we are creating an endless running game and our player will only move on the right direction so we don't need to move our camera to backward direction or upward direction we just need to move our camera right side on x axis so it is clear that the current x axis of our player is greater than the last position so we will subtract the last x to the current x to calculate the distance so we will get the current x with the help of transform again 
so we will write player dot transform dot position dot x minus we will use the last position last position dot x because it is already a vector so we have the distance now as we will attach this script to our main camera we can directly access the transform object of camera and to set the new position for the camera we can use the transform so we will write here transform this is for our camera dot position equals to new vector 3 and to the vector 3 we will pass the current x plus distance so we will get the current x from this transform dot position dot x and we will add the distance and we do not need to change the y and z so we will write transform dot position dot y and transform dot position dot z and then we will update the last position so here we will write last position equals to player dot transform dot position that's it now we need to attach the script to our main camera so here we will select main camera and we will click add component and select camera controller that's it now let's try running the game and you can see now the camera is moving along with the player so i guess that is all for this video friends we learned how to move camera in this video and maybe in the next video we will generate the platforms so i hope you are liking this series and if you are liking this series then please like this video and share it with your friends and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching this is bilal khan now signing off